Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Ray Jr. coming live from the Man Cave. I uh, hope everybody's having a great evening out there. The uh, video I'm about to uh, show you, what I'm uh, doing right now, is on my, uh, my monthly comics from Midtown. This is pretty much my last order from 2015. It just now got here. So, uh, yeah, I'm behind. Uh, I'm not... I'm not up to, I guess, the standard with all of the, the other collectors, but uh, I get mine every month from Midtown, so that way uh, I don't have to go to this local comic book store here in Alaska that's, uh, you know, doesn't really have any good stuff, and plus they don't bag and board their stuff, so it uh, makes it easier for my stuff just to get delivered here to my house, and, uh, you know, like I said, I just have to sit back and watch all the videos, everybody else getting it, you know, showing their stuff, and then I finally get to show mine. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Alrighty. As you all know, you might be able to hear the grunting because it's a biscuit. Uh, I guess he wants to lend a hand on, uh, you know, doing the video. Uh, is that right, buddy? Huh, puppy? Alrighty. Uh, go ahead and... Well, I just got a lot here, so bear with me. The video might be... Has been long. Okay, you probably haven't seen a couple of. Okay, so let's see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna take greatest stuff down. That's gonna be too many. Uh, uh, there we go. Maybe I'll slot a couple of more in here. Uh, take this down. Uh, let's see here. All right. So we'll go with that for right now. Now that I got all this stuff situated here, trash out the way. Alrighty, so we'll start over here to the, to the left side. Uh, and the first book we have that I got is uh, uh, Wolverine uh, Volume 5, Number 1 Variant. It's a back issue that I ordered, uh, just to have it in the collection. Kind of reminds me of the all new Wolverine, uh, I want to say Variant Issue 2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I could be wrong, but oh well. Not, er not always perfect, nobody is. I got uh, X-Men 217, Volume 1. I may have picked that up. You know, one of my favorite villains is the Juggernaut. You know, I just like guys with the power or whatever. All that brute force. Uh, I got X-Men Volume 1, number 195. Uh, Wolverine holding up his uh, claws up to one of the Power Pack members. You know, you know the little teen... Uh, comic book that came out in the 80s. I got Batman number 569. This is part of my volume one. A couple of books that I needed for my run. I'm like 18 issues away um, from having issue 400 all the way to 713. Then I can start focusing on the 300s and the 200s and all that good stuff before I get down to the, the golden age. Uh, we have here is Batman 399 volume one. I like the logo. DC Comics aren't just for kids. Well, when I was collecting, I was a kid back then, so... But, now, nah, you know. Got the all-new Wolverine variant, number one. So, hopefully, yeah, I can get the artist, you know, another con or whatever to, to draw on this. That, that's, like, one of my goals this year to get, you know, my blank covers, uh... Get some artwork put on them. Finally, Daredevil, number one. I've been collecting Daredevil for a long time. Uh, I have volume two all the way up to now, except for two issues, I want to say in volume three, 
that I'm missing, and then I can work on uh, volume one. But here's finally Daredevil number one. Say volume five, I do believe. Uh, Superman, Batman, and a Red Hood Strikes, issue number twenty-seven. Always good to have Batman and Superman team up comic. Alright, Batman and then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is one I've been waiting on to get. Number one. Right, I cannot read this one. I'm reading that bad boy tonight. Then I got the variant. The blank cover. So like I said, I'm hoping to get a sketch done on this bad boy. As soon as I find out where the, the artist is going to be at in the next con. I uh, cannot wait. And Batman number 47. There's all that cover right there. All right, we'll put the rest of these up here and finish off this left side. Then we have Captain America number four. I think this is the last issue that I got because I went ahead and took this off my pool list. Uh, really wasn't the uh, really wasn't feeling it. Love some Sam Wilson as the Falcon, but holding that mantle as Captain America is it, not working. Uh, Daredevil number two. Volume 5. Yep. A whole new series. I said I'll be reading some of that stuff tonight before I go to bed. Alright, I got The Dark Knight 3, number 2, book 2, The Master Race. Uh, still looking for some variants. It's going to be hard to come back because these bad boys are expensive. Uh, got He Man, The Eternity War, number 13. As you know, I love, love me some Masters of the Universe. And, uh, been following this series for a while. Been following He-Man since the 80s when his first toy came out and then the comics and then all that good stuff. Uh, the New Avengers number four. I think I went ahead and uh, discontinued this one as well. I'm going to pull this. I had to make some sacrifices. You know, so I, I could save some money to get me some uh, old Journey to Mystery issues that I'm, that I'm lacking. Uh, Ninja Turtles number 53. I know this has been seen before on, uh, on YouTube, but I like the artwork on that. You know, the turtles, they just, you know, they grew on everybody since it first came out black and white. Oh, this, uh, I cannot wait to start reading this. This is Space Ghost. And uh, I am glad Space Ghost is part of the DC Universe. He fits that mode. So I finally get to read, uh, I mean, I read it in, uh, on Wikipedia, you know, how it became Space Ghost, but I want to actually read the comic. Uh, that was issue three. This is issue five by Joe Kelly. Uh, he saw it sign a lot of my Supergirl books as well, so hopefully he's at an icon and I can get those bad boys signed. Uh, this is number six. I think it's got the, yeah, it's got the twins in it, Jan and Jace. So... Yeah, with it only being like 9:30 over here in my time, I can uh, knock out some of this, some of this reading. While most of y'all already uh, tucked away safely in bed. Hercules number two. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Hercules. I'm glad they giving him another shot. Uh, hopefully, this goes longer than about 10 issues, because normally that's about the norm on him. I think the longest was like 20 something, called The Incredible Hercules. But uh, I think this story storyline is going to actually help him become to get that recognition of being one of the greatest heroes of all time because uh, he was considered like the first. Uh, Secret Wars number eight. It's a pretty good storyline here. I think I one more issue and then that'll be it for that. Still can't beat the original Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, but hey, it, 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 the storyline is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Big Trouble in Little China number 19. I done had a couple of issues of that. Uh, didn't really pan out. Uh, Took this from a pool list as well, so I want to get in this. Uh, you know, it's you know it's all right, but nothing worth to, to keep uh, to buying every month. Uh, Justice League uh, 46. This was another hard decision. This is like my last one I I got because, uh, like I said, I'm making room for uh, some key issues that I want later this year. Uh, the Mighty Thor number two. Looking forward to seeing how far Jane Foster goes with that cancer she got going up in her. So, what's going on, Biscuit? 
So, looking forward to that. That'll probably be the first one I read because I am a Thor fan. Russell Dodderman, pretty good artist there. Aquaman 47, this was another one I took off my pool list. Yeah, a lot of people probably gonna be like, why? But, you know, hey, gotta make some sacrifices and, you know, I'm only keep sticking with the big guns I like. Uh, Space Ghost number four. Space Ghost number two. Yep. Let's see what we got here. This. Okay, Shazam uh, number two. So, uh, yeah, number two, the original Captain Marvel. Uh, I know I get uh, shunned upon by saying that because uh, Marvel, go figure, but uh, he was known as Shazam. But now, I mean, he was known as Captain Marvel back in the day, so now Shazam. So I have this. Looking forward to getting uh, some more of these uh, to add to my collection. And then last but not least is Just Imagine by Stan Lee Shazam. So uh, there was 13 issues of these that he did. So I think I have like three or four maybe. So I'll continue getting these uh, to finish out the collection. And then I'll go from there. So... Thank you for stopping by checking out the video. Hope you like uh, what you saw and what I got for the month. Uh, my next uh, video on my monthlies will not be that big. I promise you that because, uh, like I said, I did a lot of kickback. As in uh, only going from 21 issues a month to like 12. And then we'll see how far that goes. Uh, because this is uh, the year of the comics. Everybody's going to be fighting to get them key issues. Uh, that Captain Marvel, uh, excuse me, uh, I mean Shazam is going to be real big in, in about like two or three years when his movie comes out. So I'm pretty sure everybody's uh, trying to pick that up right now. But um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Click uh, like if you like it. Uh, go ahead and comment. Uh, let me know what you think. I uh, hope everybody has a wonderful evening. And uh, until next time, I'm out.